Hi, I'm Jared from Advanced LED Lights, and this video focuses on spectrums, what we use, and why we use it. On the screen shows just a few of how many lights Advanced has personally tested. To come up with our final spectrum, the reasoning is somewhat tricky. Oftentimes I see people focus on chlorophyll A, leaving chlorophyll B completely unmentioned. While the whole process is fairly complicated, we feel it's important for you to understand both functions of chlorophyll A and B. Let's start by asking, what is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is the green pigment inside of your plants. It's extremely important due to its role in photosynthesis, the process which allows plants to absorb energy from light, much like food for humans. Without going too in-depth, chlorophyll A and B both absorb best at specific wavelengths. Here we have two spectrums. We know that chlorophyll A absorbs best around 430 and 662 nanometers, while the green in the yellow light is reflected, giving the plants their esteemed green color. However, people forget to mention chlorophyll B which absorbs best around 453 nanometers and 642 nanometers, but also absorbs small amounts of green and yellowish wavelengths. So you may be asking yourself, why is this important? I'm glad you asked. If chlorophyll B not only directly impacts chlorophyll A, allowing it to better supply your plants with what it needs, then it only makes sense to make sure that you have a spectrum that supports that. Make sure that you're feeding your plants exactly what they want, and it has those peaks represented in the grow light spectrum. At the beginning of the video, you saw all the spectrums we've tested, from metal halide to HPS to other competing LEDs. At advanced, we don't cut corners, and you can see that in our spectrum. It's important to understand that plants can still survive with a less optimal spectrum. So while you may think that your plants are doing fine, in actuality, they might be underperforming. A good example of this is humans. While they can live on a vitamin and protein deficiency due to, say, poor diet, their performance as well as their physical mass and even immunities to sickness and disease can directly suffer. Plants work in much the same way, except instead of food, they absorb light. I hope this helped, and if you have any questions or just want to take a look at the data, feel free to visit us at advancedledlights.com.